Hello guys, how are you doing today? My fellow traders, it's a pleasure having you here again. Today is the 8th of uh, August 2022 and I'm uh, just going to give you some quick rundown of what has been happening for a little while now. Uh, just breezing through. Uh, Bitcoin uh, seems to be gaining some strength uh, since the bulls are trying to come in. If you look at what we have in this region, and this is coming after hitting the 18K level. And uh, if you look very well, we're having some higher lows build up here. And as we're having higher lows build up here, then we should get to 30K. You know, we've been talking about 30K as a retest for a little while now. And this is looking at the Bitcoin from the daily time frame. So keep an eye on this. If you could find uh, some buying pressure or some opportunity to buy in this uh, box dot area here, try to do that and see whether you could take it to 30K, right? Don't forget you are still fighting a major trend, right? For this year, uh, which has obviously been to the downside. Everybody's aware of that. Now, uh, with the Bitcoin said, um, we all know COVID-19 has been around with us for a while, and now they're talking about the monkeypox. Hopefully that does not um, turn into another pandemic, but let's see how that goes. Inflation, yes, inflation has been big all over the world with gas prices up, food prices up, everything seems to be on the rise. And of course, the central banks have been doing you know, their best in uh, uh, hiking the rates to try to curb the rise in inflation and all. There have been some little talks here and there about recession. We obviously noticed that the US have uh, entered into the second quarter of uh, uh, you know, low performance when it comes to the economic uh, growth. So let's see how things, uh, you know, mature some more. And uh, last uh, week on Friday, speaking about the US, we had the NFP that came out with a whooping, I'm talking about a whooping 528K. Yes, 528K with respect to the uh, employment change. And that is massive, right? And, um, you know, from there, crude oil also is big, has been big for a while now. Ever since we've been having that, uh, you know, the war in Ukraine since late February, it's over oh, more than over 100 days now. But then what people are not paying attention, if you ask me with respect to the crude oil, is that it has broken out of key areas here. Right now, it is below $90 per barrel. And it is projected, listen to this please, it's projected to get to about $80 per barrel. What does this mean? That means that for you to follow this nice trend, look for a pullback, a retracement, right? Back to the, uh, you know, consolidation where it broke out uh, from. And then look for shots to take it down there. It will be a good one, to be a massive one. And of course, you can use the crude oil to trade the dollar card. If the dollar card, uh, if the crude is dropping, they should expect the dollar card to appreciate as well based on card. Right. So also uh, from the Bitcoin to the crude oil, uh, looking at um, other instruments like gold, gold, we talked about 1780. And of course, you can see that 1780 has been tested. As it has been tested, we have a sort of uh, minute looking spinning top, which is not good enough for us to pull the trigger for shots. So obviously, we need more information in this area here. We need more information here. And if this um, 1780, if it doesn't hold, then we should expect the next area of interest to be around uh, 1870 for short. And if it holds, meaning that maybe we get um, in this week, we get maybe like an inside bar or maybe even a much big, bigger looking, uh, better looking um, bearish hammer or bearish pin as the case might be for us to jumping on shots here to take it back to 1700 level and then maybe it could even break out some more or well, who knows what we do as uh, price action traders is to look at our charts mark out map out our level support and resistance based on supply and demand and then see you know what the market is trying to tell us and then we understand the language and then we take advantage of it
Now, if you want to learn some more, right, you could watch past videos that would explain how to draw your support and resistance levels on this channel. And then also, yes, indeed, also, I will be having um, a one-month mentorship session. The next batch will be starting next week, and that will be 15th of August. And it's going to be for a little token. I'm going to drop the link in the description below as well. For those that might be interested, you can sign up. Make sure you sign up on time. Seats are limited. And of course, for the first 10 signups, you will get a one on one session accountability session with myself we'll talk about your trading whether you are new or struggling what seems to be the problem we'll look for solutions to them and then help you to apply the solutions because it's one thing to know the solutions and then it's another thing to apply them and i can tell you for a fact that you watching this video more or less you know what is wrong with your trading you have solutions to them or you need a mentor. Everybody needs a mentor, whether you like it or not, because a mentor is going to help to shorten your learning curve. The market today is absolutely quiet. The economic calendar for today is light on data, so we should not have some heavy movements. Even tomorrow, too, is light on data as well. Till Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to be having the CPI for the dollar, the consumer price index will expect some volatility. It has indeed been a pleasure hosting you, giving you some here and there information on what's happening in the world and, of course, on our chat for us to be able to take advantage, right? Any question you may have, comment in the section below. And, of course, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It will help me to grow and help others to see the channel and then gain from the wealth of experience, the little experience that I have been able to gather over time. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye and God bless. Cheers.